kiddos, Handsome Jack here. You're listening to Start Replay. Pushy Snuggle Bites is my main squeeze. I thought I would take some time away from battling Dr. Nefarious and introduce a brand new Start Replay podcast. Presumably because you have half a brain in your head. <laughs> okay, kisses. What is up, everyone, and welcome to Start Replay, specifically the Start Replay podcast with myself, editor-in-chief and founder of Start Replay, Josh Ball, and I'm bringing to you the brand new series of our podcast. We were on in 2013 and 2014, but frankly, they were not good enough, and we didn't keep up with the content, but now we're here rebuilt, resuited, rebooted, retouched, re-imaged, reformatted, anything you'd like to say, re-miked. We've got the best equipment available right now, guys, to be to be fair, and hopefully you're hearing my sweet tones through your Apple headphones or Beats headphones or whatever headphone you're listening through. We Over should the sound, sound awesome. Of the train. Over the sound of the train, that's correct. And this episode we're going to be talking about what our game of the year of 2014 was, as well as our disappointment, and maybe, maybe, perhaps, looking at the future and seeing what uh, we're excited for. So without any further ado, let me introduce my guests to this podcast. And uh, well, those guests are Freya. Hello. From the team. You'll know her as the only girl on the team. Yep. And Bar Joel. Richard. R- R- Richard takes the form of a girl Richard sometimes. is also a girl, apparently. And Joel Chapman. Hello. Yes. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're currently sat in... Um, in a room with headphones on. It's all very professional. I've got them chained up. And I I can't quite grasp the idea of hearing my voice as clearly as I am. I don't really like it. But I'll, I'll get different. used to it. Even in real life, you cannot hear your voice as clear. Yeah. It's very weird. That's Crystal correct. Clear. We are in a cramped room with a Cozy. mixer, three mics, a Mac, TV, Jaffa games cakes. consoles. Jaffa cakes take up a most of the space, to be cakes. fair. Yeah. Um, but hopefully, as this is the beginning of our new series... We'll be a little bit better off. It's 2015. It's 2015. Who would Happy believe New it? Year, guys. Happy New Year to everyone Happy listening. New Year. Happy New Year Happy to New those. Year. It's still January. We can say that. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. And it's going to be a very exciting gaming year, but we can't really go much further without starting on, you know, the past. Just to get that out of the way. We need to scoop it and chuck it and say good riddance to it. But yeah, who, who should go first? I'm trying to figure Should out. Should we say ladies first? Ladies first. Ladies first, okay. So, Freya, what was your game of the year 2014? What was the spectacle to behold? Was it Yoshi's Woolly World? Actually, no, that's out this year. <laughs> Yoshi's Woolly be. World? Yeah. What? Have you never heard of it? No, no. it's out next, this year. Oh, Quite God, excited. I'm getting confused. <laughs> so it's out in 2016? No, this year. This okay. year? Yeah. So yeah, Freya, Yeah, do sorry. Go ahead. Um... Well, there was a lot of games I was looking forward to, like Halo, Sunset Overdrive, Destiny, but they kind of disappointed me. So my game of the year is going to go to GTA V Remastered, just because I feel like we all had more fun on it than we did when it came out the year before on Xbox 360, and it does look much, much better. And there's snow. Well, there was snow. I'm a bit disappointed. Sorry to interrupt your your rant. Well, less of a rant, (laughs) more of a glowing spectacle (laughs) to behold. Um, I'm surprised they haven't let you have a feature where you can change everything to snow. I I know I was so mm. disappointed about that. It was four I days. Hope they do. Yeah, Maybe it was only protest. four days. They did it for. We should protest. Yeah. We, we should, should be like repetition. Come on, Rockstar, <laughs> do it. So, sort your shit out. Now we want this feature. We but want permanent snow. The game is built in Scotland. It's a cold, snowy yeah. place. And they're used to it. Exactly. To be fair, they're probably sick of it. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't want to put it in their games. They want to go to LA, mm. even though they're sat in Edinburgh. But think about it. You could develop specifically made activities for yeah. the snowy environment. You can chuck snowboarding. snowballs at each other. You'd well, love yeah, it. But you skiing. could do snowboarding or skiing off Mount Chile. That'd be amazing. And probably fail horrifically. But it would still be good. So it's one of those games that should have no limits. It's and got an ever-ongoing expansion. Yeah. yeah. And that's really good, actually, because you get new cars, new everything. It's all free, unlike all your Call of Duties, your Titanfalls. They all make yeah. you pay for all the DLC. Yeah. Rockstar do it for free. Yeah. Apart from, obviously... We love you, Rockstar. You have to pay for such in-game items, and obviously that takes a lot of time, or yeah. your hard-earned real money. Yeah, that's true. So, but we still love you, Rockstar. But yeah, I've never yeah. been as amazed. Like, when, when I came on and I saw it was snowing, I've actually got a bit emotional. Like, I've never been a graphics person. Like, you probably know actually, this. Actually... I've never cared, and I was actually... I, I, I was stunned at it. I was it listening... It looked beautiful. I was online with Freya as we were playing um, in the snow on GTA and my brother said to me, 
is Frey on drugs. <laughs> she was acting so weird. She's like, it's just so beautiful. It was. It was beautiful. You're and I was just taking photos. What, in-game or out? Using your Snapmatic iPhone? Or no, yeah, yeah. My Snapmatic iPhone. What's it called? Yeah, yeah. The pear phone? Pear something D phone oh, something weird like something that. it's a fruit but phone fruit phone, phone. that's the one <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just as that came out. I know it was a fruit <laughs> yeah it was like, no phone <laughs> eye fruit the eye fruit I think it was yeah it's the eye fruit I think fruit. got there eventually yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so were you taking them on your eye fruit yes I was taking them on my eye fruit and I was disappointed that they weren't real photos really because it was absolutely stunning and do you I think f- they should create an add-on where and you can plug a printer in a GTA thing. I would be as soon as you so take happy. a photo, it automatically prints out. You're like, oh, well, this is if like you go onto the uh, GTA Social Club and you actually look through some of the images that are on there, a lot of them are actually stunning. But yeah, they, I bet they're phenomenal. Like the than, sunsets are amazing on that. Better than ninety percent of people's Instagram accounts. Yeah, <laughs> they're so true. They're well, really nice. That's why I love also about the going on a little bit of a different tangent. Well, that's why I love about what they introduced with. The Last of Us and Infamous, the camera where you can slow down time or, or stop time, oh, yeah. and then you can manipulate the camera on like a dolly, yeah, and zoom in and out and take a picture and, and change the contrast and the colors and everything else. And I think every game should have that because it gives you the ability to be really creative and really just awesome. But sorry, Fred, carry on about why GTA Remastered is your uh, game of the year. If there is much more to say well, about it. Yeah, it's just that the the online works for a start, mm. which has been something that's disappointed me this year was always a, plus. a lot of games, yeah. And it and I mean the last year when it was released the online was pretty screwed up. It to was just nice, with. yeah. After yeah, about yeah. three weeks it three was weeks, it cleared was, up. Yeah, it was better. But it just it's just nice to be able to go on a game and just be able to play it and have fun on it and it look look good, like really good. This this year was the year of shoddy releases. Yeah. Game, the quality of games seems to have gone down. There were some struggles, yeah. to be fair. Hence why a lot of games got pushed back to this year. I'm mm. glad they did. If they were going to release, sort of Evolve and those sort of things, if they'd released them too early on, then it would just be a bit of a waste. I think it's a good move for Evolve. People, yeah. A lot of people argue, oh, the hype has dropped, um, but imagine releasing another game in that November yeah. fuck fest, I call it, of game <laughs> releases. Um, That's true. It, it wouldn't be good for them so I think they pushed it back to a good time and they can actually make the game work better than it probably did yeah more people will be playing it because I mean what else is really sort of coming out like big in February Witcher like Witcher early on I yeah you got the Witcher haven't like you are you coming out Joel um, I don't plan to <laughs> coming I, out of the closet. I've delayed it to about December <laughs> needs my, a bit my more polishing polish <laughs> yeah needs need some bugs fixing polish my act up my online <laughs> isn't too great at the moment yeah no, I understand <laughs> and split screen <laughs> Right, anyhow. Um, Joel. So, what? It's your turn. My turn. Oh, yeah. God. Game of the year, um, 2014. I would like to say Lay that it on me. 2014 was the year of the re- remasters. Um, it's the the big full year of, of next generation, so a lot of these publishers could then take games like GTA and put them out onto their next-gen consoles and still sell a shit ton of copies in better graphics, etc., etc. And my game of the year is Last of Us Remastered. Um, the reason I say That's this such a cop out, isn't it? <laughs> cop out. Gosh, it really is. is. We're doing we're doing game of the year twenty thirteen. <laughs> yeah. Game of the year twenty fourteen. <laughs> the thing is, I, I the start of twenty fourteen I'd say Halo the Master Chief Collection will be hands down my game of the year. Yeah. But it just wasn't it I still go on there and struggle to find games. And it's what, January twenty fifteen now this game yeah. came out the first or second week of November. Yeah, I didn't find a game. The one time I tried I was like this is a shame. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love Halo, but it just it just just didn't work. Um, so therefore, unfortunately, games like Halo, uh, Watch Dogs should have been really good. That wasn't Titanfall, another game that was decent, but a Not letdown, etc., etc. Et yeah. um, it was the sugar rush of 2014. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. But um, I a bit sick of it. I hadn't played The Last of Us on PS3s. So I had an Xbox 360. I used to have a PS3, but it yellow light of death for me i never replaced it um i know it's an amazing game already because i love the uncharted series um so i bought it on x um, on playstation 4 and it was just an absolutely amazing game to play graphics the story it, i don't really have to need to sort of buff it up it everyone knows how good the game is and playing it in on a ps4 was even better um and compared to other titles that came out in the same year it just was by far the best experience for me from start to finish 
like a lot of games had good moments like playing through Halo 2 anniversary on your Xbox One is great but the game as a whole just doesn't work um, and The Last of Us for me as a game was just fantastic uh, so therefore it is my game of the year 2014 was it your game of the year 2013 I didn't play it oh right sorry so 2014 <clears throat> yeah. was it probably quite a good time so to be fair, to yeah it, it's a really good experience actually not playing like I'm sure when it came out on PS3 it was absolutely amazing it won millions and millions of awards um, but playing it an even more polished one I remember there was one time I went into um, uh, there was I think a university uh, or school prom high school prom and you went into this room there's all these banners like tore down all these tables and a disco table and stuff and it's the middle of the apocalypse so everything's like ruined and I was just mashing the share button in that room because it was fantastic it, like it just looked amazing and it blew me away I Good. quite I quite enjoyed watching you play that. I think what you were playing it for like an hour or and a half or something, and I just it was it was like watching a film. It really was. Yeah. It was like, and I'm not a massive campaign <clears throat> pro person. Like I don't not a can- campaign girl. No, no you really. I'm not. very much online. Like play with friends, all that sort of stuff. That's why I got an Xbox. So yeah, I was. Are you trying to say that way. PlayStation cannot be that good online? No, I'm saying it's Let's very much single this. player. Very much single player. No. Controversial. But on PS4 well. <laughs> blows away the Xbox One when it comes to single player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Kicks hands hands down. Dick. Hands down. I'm just double checking something. Making sure the mic is actually facing. Oh, God. You but never know. You never really know. Yeah, the so. wires are coming into the back. That's good. Is it good? Mm hmm. Is yours good? Is mine good? Um, yeah, mine probably is. Hopefully. Well, you can tell by the audio waves whether it's working or not, surely. Yeah. That's true. <clears throat> just want to make sure, you know, I don't want all of our current listeners to be like, <laughs> can't hear this person that well. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Last of the Bus and GTA Remastered. Both what Remastered. A cop out. What a fucking cough out. What a cop out. You're like, oh, these are just games that are being rehashed. Yeah. I, I think that 2014, yes, it was a year for Remasters, and I think 2015 is going to be even more so because it will be, you know, it will have given people who released PS3 titles last year more time to develop their titles for for next gen. Uh, a bit like my game of the year, which I hope they release this year on next gen. But without going too much into, you know, the remaster side, which I, I still bit of a cop out. Come on, game of the year. Twenty It's game bad, isn't it? It but is very I, bad. I went through the list of games that I played and it was a remastered game that blew me away. I mean what yeah. does that say? What does it say about, you know, well, it's the, not the quality. It, all it of... says is that three four three industries fucked up Halo. Yeah, they did. Uh, fucking <coughs> Ubisoft <coughs> promised the Obviously, world and yeah. don't deliver as per usual. Like Far Cry Four, I gave it a really good review. I gave it like nine point ninety two percent. I'm yet to play that game. Really fun game uh, when you get into it when you play with some mates, etc. Um, but it's not as polished as games like Last of Us. And from like I said, from start to finish, the whole experience is not as good as a remastered game yeah. I think there'd be many people who were argumentative of the fact that the games that are taking your game of the years I know it's totally your own opinion but the games that are taking your game of the years are rehashed titles and not new IPs no it's true but it has been like but Halo. maybe they'll make your you know maybe one of the new IPs will make your biggest disappointment so we, you know yeah. there won't be an entire loss yeah. we'll still be talking about them just yeah. in another fashion yeah well <laughs> at the end of the day it's the game of the year from your experience exactly and, and if these games that promise the world don't deliver, they're not going to get my game of the year just because no, they they promise the no, world. That's true. Yeah. Now I was very close with giving game of the year to GTA Remastered because it is a fantastic game. Uh, even though I've only really played half an hour to maybe an hour of the campaign, replayed it. Sorry, mm-hmm. um, I have played a little bit online as well with Ben, even though his internet connection or my internet connection was a bit shoddy, so we <laughs> kept like. I was like, oh, he was flying a helicopter, I'd be sat in the back, and all of a sudden I'd get pushed out of the helicopter because he was disconnected, and I'd oh, be like, dear. oh, well, I'm dead, <laughs> basically. Fantastic. And we kept trying to steal jets, and it just wasn't going that well. But yeah, as, as you two know, and anyone who's visited startreplay.com will know, my game of the year is South Park. South Park, the what? The stick of truth. There we go. Because it's amazing. It's fantastic. It wasn't on next gen as well. It was on PlayStation 3, which yeah. is even funny. So I was digging out my old console to be like... I've seen yeah, it up for a lot of it. awards. Yeah, it has been up for a lot of awards. IGN, it's, it's everybody, they've been... And it, or even after its lengthy development time and the troubles that it was having, and it was with THQ, and then they went bust, and then Ubisoft got the IP, which is good. And um, Obsidian 
Entertainment, who I met a few people from the dev studio recently, talked about it a little bit, which is quite funny. And I'll, I'll share one of the stories in a bit. But South Park, I love South Park, and I played all of the games ever since I was a kid. So I played all the, well, pretty much all the games, except from South Park, The Stick of Truth, were crap, aside from maybe the Xbox Arcade ones, which actually I didn't play. So I played the N64 one, where you're running around the town, oh weeing on snowballs and <laughs> throwing them at people, or using a cow gun, <laughs> or shooting turkeys with a plunger. But it was ne- never anything good. Well, it was great, actually. I, oh. fa- I found that game great. I mean, a lot of people would disagree with the, the amount of titles. You had, like, South Park Karting and Chef's Love Shack, which was a quiz game. Oh, God. <laughs> and I would have played all of them. I, I probably did play all of them. It's like all the Batman games that have been released before all the Arkham series. Yeah, you love those. I just love them because I love the material of that and the fact I can play in that world with those characters, like the Simpsons games. Yeah, like, Simpsons uh, games are great. The recent Simpsons game that they released on, well, not recent, but a few years ago, where you could actually explore... Um, Springfield. I was going to say South Park. There. Were you talking about hit, hit and run? <laughs> no, 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 no. This no. was one where you could go into different worlds. Yeah, it was and brilliant. Experience what different. Was this? It was the Simpsons game. Yeah, the Simpsons that? game. Just this I Simpsons played game. that. I really didn't enjoy it what? because I went from Simpsons Hit and Run, this epic, free roaming GTA for the kids yeah. title, to this more linear style of Simpsons. That that's what the Simpsons game was, wasn't it? A bit I don't more feel linear. like it was linear. Well, you could also. I didn't realize until I got the game that you could actually explore the entirety. Yeah, of you had things to collect, like well. like in Sunset Overdrive. Just, it wasn't just levels. Really? Yeah, yeah. it was. So it was you, really you could great. hijack someone's car in the middle of the road and drive around. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know whether you can drive. Yeah, I can't remember. It was such a long time ago. They should remaster that. They yes, should. no, be the next no. podcast. What should they remaster? Remaster <laughs> Hit and Run because that was way better than the Simpsons remaster game. San Andreas. I win. Well, maybe we'll talk a little bit about <laughs> remasters later in the episode. <laughs> Later's? <laughs> later Later's. in the episode. So, yeah, I mean, Stick of Truth is my game of the year because it's funny, it's um, fresh, it's taken a license, a TV license, and turned it into a really successful, really well executed game. And because you've got both of the creators, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, on the game, doing the writing, doing the voices, and the game looks just like the TV show, you know, so you're actually playing. An episode or an entire series, dare I say, it, you know, on your TV, you're playing it out, and you can pillage the drawers of all the neighbors and go into all the <laughs> houses, and all the little references oh, are that's there. Very cool. And did you guys actually play the game? No, I've never no. played the game. Oh my god, you yeah, that's, that's terrible. <clears throat> I would quite like to, but I just never like it, it's it, a it, campaign. That's yeah. Fred I doesn't like, play campaigns. I feel like I would enjoy watching somebody play it. Oh, it's Cause, amazing. It's so on YouTube then. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, I did watch a like good 30-minute episode on YouTube, and it did look pretty cool. It's great. It does look very well made. It's yeah. the only game of 2014 that I platinumed. Really? That I put the time into platinum. Wow. Yeah, I remember um, we were at work one time, and I remember you were telling me how much you were playing it and how you got all the trophies and... God, there was one trophy where I just kept doing it over and over to try and do it, and I thought it was because I was playing on the American version that it didn't allow me to get it because I got a second copy from from America that was uncensored. Oh wow! Yeah, so it didn't. so what what were the differences wow. with the UK edition? No, the U- the European one was uh, quite heavily censored. So oh. a lot of mini games of where you were um, operating something that was going to Randy's ass. Oh, like dear. a huge like alien dildo <laughs> oh, thing like you'd, you'd if you it'd be oh, like Guitar really? Hero so the button presses would go up if you messed it up then oh, it would like gosh. totally like destroy him <laughs> which is oh, great God. it's so funny and it sounds were, amazing it was, it was great and there were bits like performing abortions where you had oh, no. like this thing and you had to move the, the stick left and right oh, and Jesus God. Christ but, no to be fair you're, you weren't performing them on a girl you were performing it on Randy <laughs> <laughs> or, you were, or you were performing it on a machine <laughs> And these so, were taken out of the European ones. And that was taken out. Probably so, for the German market. Yeah, so instead yeah. It they was, censor everything. It was just um, a placeholder there with why they've taken it out and the creators of South Park basically being, this is crap. But yeah, so this is why we had to take it out. It's a crap mm-hmm. reason why we had to take it out. But yeah, so that's when I got the second... Um, the US. The, yeah, the US copy. I was really excited about it because, of course, with South Park, you don't want anything edited. You just want it all there yeah. just to see because it's, it's really funny. And that's what it's about. Yeah. It's just yeah. about that ludicrous nature of... Just out of this world. Just inappropriate. Yeah, exactly. But... So... Alien Dildies. <laughs> it was oh Alien gosh, dildos so, so funny. Title of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> mm, first episode dildos. of the new series, Alien Dildos. I think that's a bit... Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, I... Mean, I 
yeah, it, it's just really funny. I, I love you know humorous games, anything that's humorous, anything that makes me laugh. And South Park, The Stick of Truth, really, really, really made me laugh. Dare I say it, pee a little. Actually, no, I didn't pee. Um, <laughs> well. Frey, you're currently sat on Josh's bed. Oh, mm. <laughs> where he probably sits and plays his games. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I, I didn't. I didn't. It's fine. But. <laughs> I, and I was really looking forward to it for such a long time that after THQ went bust and all this stuff happened, I was really worried it wouldn't come out. And even when I saw a demo at Gamescom 2013 oh, wow. for the game, I just saw a demo. It wasn't hands-on. It looked good, but there was still the air of, mm, what's going to turn out like? Because it was yeah. an RPG, like in a shoft... Shoft? In a shoft RPG shell. <laughs> shoft. <laughs> in a soft RPG shell. It's, yeah, it's, it's definitely. Stick of Truth is, is a very soft RPG it yeah. hasn't got a ton of depth to it but still got a lot of things that make up an RPG and make it fun and you can collect lots of different things you did can it have like make a level new system things. at all yeah you can level up and you have party members so um, because anyone who hasn't played the stick of truth I should probably tell you you play a new kid on the park yeah on the park on the street on the block <laughs> on the block so you play the new kid at South Park and that means you can interact with Cartman and Stan and Kenny and Kyle and Butters and <laughs> Is it Jimmy? Or, no, not Jimmy. Um, Jimmy, uh, Tim- uh, Timmy. Timmy, yeah. Uh, not Timmy, but the guy on <laughs> the crutches. I don't know. Oh. Do you get to interact with Token? Hmm? Token? No. I mean, you, you meet all the characters, oh, but good. these are the people who are in your party. So you have Kyle and Stan and Carmen. Oh, you, God, the main people. Um, I've, re- I've totally forgotten. But you've got... And then Butters, and then you've got... I want to say it's... Peter G- Griffin. <laughs> No, it's not. No, no oh. that's uh, Crimson the Frog. Uh, coming <laughs> to interview uh, for a second, your guys. Uh, oh, bye! Oh, for the Muppet! Yay! What's Kermit doing here? Fuck off, Kermit! <laughs> Jesus Christ! These people are just like, mm, that's nasty. <laughs> oh God! No, <laughs> enough of this. this! Oh, it's all happening. Enough of this. But uh, yeah, I just can't get over the stick of truth. And, and there were so many games from 2014 that I really loved and really liked. And spent a long time playing like Diablo three, hmm. and even like GTA. Going back into wasn't that remastered, or was that the one? It was the one that finally came to consoles. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. an expansion My got and that stuff. Ages Reaper ago on Souls PC. And everything else. Yeah, I really loved that game. I never really played Diablo, but I really got into it. And I again just delved so many hours into that game. Mm. That's and Blizzard. They're, they're good. Yeah, they're they're amazing. And they're, again, I'm trying to think, there were so many games that came out as well. I, I keep forgetting. And Watch Dogs. Mm. Yeah, I I did really kind of like it, kind of maybe mm, a little little bit. Bit. I I look Not back really. on it there with were fondness. Yeah, um, some fond moments. When I first played it, and the first week I played it, it was just huge disappointment. You look at the E3 2012, and you're like, oh yeah, you start touching yourself a little bit. You, it just looks yeah. amazing. Well, it does do, look next you gen. Do, yeah, um, we all do. Um, but then you look at the actual game, and it, it was a letdown, and it was just. A complete shoddy release on PC. Like you play, just completely ruined. I want to know what it's like on Wii U. Oh what? god, because oh, it came out in November. On Anybody Wii U. releases something on Wii U? Do you know a game that d- definitely deserves a uh, mention? That, that Mario was Kart released Eight. for three or four years Super ago. Super Smash Brothers. CS Go. Counter Strike. Yes. Counter Strike Global Offensive. It has yeah. kicked ass and taken off this year. And uh, it was a game that like I played on console this like, a special years note. ago. <laughs> yeah. And Sunday. it was just meh, and everybody played it, and it was just meh, it was just another counter I strike. never played it. But the community and the whole esports scene, yeah. and everything is just exploded. Blew up. That was brilliant. We got to watch it at Gamescom, like, and that was really good. A quarter of a million prize funds, yeah. I think. Like, that is actually more. the game that I've had most fun on, like the most laughs on. Mm-hmm. I got like it's probably been over a hundred hours in CS:GO. Yeah, I've got seventeen. And I, I don't have that many hours to sit and play games, but I really smashed that game. That's great. And, That's and it, it's it's a well, it's still taken off now. It's still like one of the best st- sellers on Steam. But yeah. it's like a story of a game that was released. It was a bit meh, and somehow from somewhere, like you can look up articles on how CS:GO has just suddenly exploded, and people don't really know why. Like people have sat and analysed, they have no idea why it just went boom. Yeah. It did. Oh, remember? Wasn't there a story I was going to tell you about something? Um, one of the makers of South Park creators. Oh yeah. So um, just going back to South Park for a sec. When I were when I met some of the people on the team who made South Park or who were related to it, um, one of the guys was saying that of course they deal with a lot of animation in game studios, and one of the guys, <laughs> his sole job, he just created dicks. So a ton of different dicks, wow. and, you know, silly animations Best for dicks, and there ever. were things that were cut, 
and there was this part apparently where a dick would come out this window and your dad would be there and it would just like flop out and like swing around oh. <laughs> <laughs> and do all this stuff and it wasn't in the final game but he was saying to imagine me imagine oh working gosh. for that studio but, yeah but then he was saying to me stuff like yeah he, he's he's an animator but if he wants to go and work for a Pixar or someone else he can't exactly like show them his work yeah. and be like this is what I made I could do this for, for you yeah two years <laughs> this is my portfolio of penises are you, are you creating any armadillos that need the same structure and shape as this <laughs> um, that's brilliant so, so yeah any close ups of flies maybe um, <laughs> and also um, the trophy sorry that I thought I hadn't um, hadn't have got hadn't have got hadn't have got couldn't didn't have, get yeah. couldn't find <laughs> it was when I had to go in Mr. Slave's ass Oh. Um, <laughs> well, to be, f- I was like, I took the special powder is, and it made me really like tiny. Is this like a normal thing for? Um, Joel. That was weird. The bottle. Like, this is why we. Vibrating. This is why we have feedback microphones so we can hear your mistakes. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Was this like a standard mission, or was this out uh, no, of the ordinary? This was a special going one. Into yeah. So I had to turn into really. I just had to turn really tiny by sniffing this powder. Wow. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was tiny, tiny, tiny. And so then I went up there to try and find this snook. So it was, it was a nuke that was in him. Um, a snook. <laughs> snook. Why is it a snook? A like, small nuke. Yeah, small nuke. Oh, that's fair. it. Snook. Wow. That's <laughs> simple. And one of the trophies was to use Mr. S- Kids. I should probably say, with a number of characters in the game, like Jesus, Mr. Oh. Slave, <laughs> and the guy from the Chinese restaurant, and a couple of other people. They had these special abilities that you could use once per battle, and then you'd have to revisit them to get the special ability. So it'd be something that would wipe out an enemy. That's what cool. completely like this like um, pre-constructed scene that would then happen to your enemies and they'd be gone. And so you had to use Mister Slave's ability in Mister Slave on an enemy. Right. So using Mister Slave inside Mister Slave, and it what? would be where he's running at a character, and he'd jump up and sit on them, and they'd basically go up his ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh! So, Wait, so how did that work? Well, it's again, it, it just happened. So that's why it's the just, trophy was it's there. It's just the game. Yeah, it's, it's just the game. <laughs> just the game is the game. So then I had, I had to, I was doing that multiple times. I can't even begin to think about how many times I was having Mister Slave put green slime up his ass. <laughs> so green slime was <laughs> was actually an enemy I was fighting in there. Right. And it's because it was to do with these feet of zombies and God. There was too Ooh. much going on there to be fair. So yeah, South Park the Stick of Truth grabs twenty fourteen by the throat. And what makes me really well, it makes me a little sad that it isn't a next gen game. But uh, I guess my there's <laughs> limitations the to the Oh, sorry, I missed... Limitations, what, limitations to next-gen hardware for performing a South Park game? No, <laughs> I was saying say? there's that there's limitations to the graphics in terms of can you push it that far? Well, if you were to remaster it, what, what would you, you be remastering? Like, no, yeah, is, well, is it, like with Minecraft, <laughs> I bought yeah. the Xbox One no. edition expecting there why, to be yeah. some sort of upgrade from the Xbox 360 edition. You're paying three pounds for the same thing. And it's just like dog shit. Yeah, um, no, I think... on PC. I think there would have to be a valid reason for them to remaster it and why they'd be bringing it out again, aside from just mm. re-releasing it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if they did re-release it, I think they capture quite a good market, I'd quite a, buy, a good yeah. handful of people because it's on next-gen. And Maybe when it's it like came an arcade downloadable sort of game maybe yeah. rather than the fully fledged disc copy I mean yeah if they did it through Xbox Live or PSN that might be a bit more viable for them but again remastering it they might be able to enhance some performance bits or maybe add more story or do this or that mm. I don't know if they're making another game and I kind of you know asked the guy I was like is there any chance they might make another one he said I'm not really in the correct place to say but you know if they did then you know I think it might be quite a while off right. so I think maybe maybe 20 20- 17 I guess that's the sort of thing you can years. you can overdo it's not like a Call of Duty where you can release it every year and get away with it well yeah, yeah. no it definitely wouldn't be that's an annual fair. thing but you have to think that they had a lot of trouble when they were first developing it trying to hone down their own graphics engine and, and, and create something totally new mm. so now they've got all those bits and pieces you know honed down and squeaky clean near enough they know how to do it from the get go yeah. so it'll obviously be a lot quicker it's just creating a story and creating everything else and now they've like mapped out South Park and they had Canada in there as well you could explore the entirety <laughs> of Canada yeah. not in the way that you'd expect though retro form it was amazing oh I saw actually um, you like go like 2D top 
down like yeah. you're like oh <laughs> yes so glitching through yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like oh, God, it's so taking, good. taking the utter that's piss why, out of Canada it's an amazing game <laughs> So yeah, those are that's my game of the year. So we've got GTA Remastered, The Last of Us Remastered, and South Park. Woo! Uh, not what I expected when you think back to the beginning of 2014. What I would have said, completely different to what I'd we've said. Have Halo, said. Yeah. Titanfall. I said Halo, maybe maybe Destiny, Assassin's Creed definitely or Destiny. Destiny. Yeah, because yeah. they were like, that's going to last for the next decade, mm. and that lasted me three weeks until sun's over. Should we move out. away from South Park's asses and? Remastered, etc., yeah. etc. Et what was your disappointment? Ah, yes, twenty four. Biggest disappointment. What was your biggest disappointment? Ladies first. Freya. Oh, Freya. Um, probably it's between Titanfall and Watch Dogs, but Watch Dogs probably just takes it because that was the first game I got on my Xbox One, mm. and nobody wanted to play it. So I was just sitting going through the campaign, which I'd sort of half Watch done. Dogs. Yeah, yeah, i done on oh, PC. Oh, you play online, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did exactly. get it about two months after it came out on Xbox One. No, it was about three... It, 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 it was quite a while after it came out, because I bought it on release on PC, and it looked like absolute rubbish, um, so it, I didn't, it didn't carry on play, playing. It didn't play, did it, really? No, it just... It, 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 it didn't flow for me, and then I started doing the campaign that I'd already half done, and it was just a bit like, meh, it didn't really like entice me, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really want to carry online. on. I played about an hour of online. Um, it was okay, but it's just the worst version of GTA. Yeah, like that's the thing. You wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically, like games like GTA smash it out of the exactly, park. Exactly. Yeah. But I look back on Watch Dogs, and I do actually have some fond memories of the campaign, and and the mechanics were generally pretty good. It didn't glitch out that much. It was a letdown from what we saw at E3. That's the thing. Yeah, they hyped it up so 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 much. If they hadn't hyped it up as much, I feel like it wouldn't have been such a letdown when we actually saw it. I just like I don't think people they they should have hyped it up when they they knew that it wouldn't be like that. Yeah, it, oh, it's just it, that it typical like down. marketing machine. Isn't yeah, it? that's the thing. Yeah. You were soft it was very delayed good. by seven months. Oh, yeah, gosh, yeah. So it was a big that's delay. True, yeah, you would expect something. Um, imagine how what it would look like if they yeah, released it at seven months. Good. Yeah. Yeah, you'd that's have to crazy. kind of consider what the performance would have been like. Yeah, exactly. But now they've gone through all this crap. You'd hope that Watch Dogs two. Is there going to be a Watch Dogs 2? Of course there's going to be a Watch It's Ubisoft. It's Ubisoft, of course. Come work. on, you've, you've got... <laughs> any Ubisoft game is really a franchise, which is why Literally, I think South they Park have is just... Far Cry is another. They have Unity... Oh, sorry, Assassin's Creed is another. Yeah. They're probably going to turn Watch Dogs into another. They have so many others, and they're just sat milking Rayman them. Rayman as well. And Rayman and... milking them. That's what I feel like. They yeah. need to focus. Like, not every just dance. year. Just Dance. Oh, yeah, huge just dance. title That's for them. Huge. Milking the... Sh- really? That is Did really... For them, for them, I think. Yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Like, Why? Well, it's so simple to make. Of course oh, it's going to create... Oh, yeah, it's a moneymaker. Yeah, it's just a moneymaker. Well, it's like a funny game that you play Shake at parties. Like, it's sort of... Like once, but they you do play it have once. Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, that oh. looks fucking amazing! Oh, yeah, let's, hang on. <laughs> it looks we need so. to we need to talk about disappointments first. Oh, okay. What's yeah, sorry, YouTube, but... sorry, Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> we'll we'll get to you in a bit. Um. Okay. Mine. So sorry, Freya's was Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. Freya's okay. Watch Dogs. Biggest disappointment. I yeah. Um, I had a couple. I guess it's mm. kind of hard to choose between. I'm probably gonna go with Titanfall. Um, oh. my main reasons for disappointment of Titanfall is the you weren't good enough at it. <laughs> no, I was actually all right. I, know, I wasn't bad. You were just really crap. Don't worry. There was we're a lack of customization. There was lack of guns. Lack, lack of severe lack of guns. Literally, everyone used the default assault rifle yeah. and maybe a sniper occasionally. And for me, mm. it just it just wasn't good enough. And yeah. you. During like E3 and Gamescom, you got on Twitter like all the big YouTubers and games reports like holy yeah. fuck, Titanfall's changing gaming forever. It was hyped up that much because it came out of nowhere, a bit like an RKO, just came out <laughs> of nowhere. nowhere. <laughs> um, God, God, yeah, like, like. And our next guests on next week's show it is just completely well, it, new IP. It was the biggest and... queue when we went to Gamescom. Was it twenty? 20- it was about six hours to play. Yeah, yeah, it was the the biggest queue, and then Battlefield like that was the one I was at with Tom. That's yeah. quite yeah. weird. It was weird. We didn't. No, we didn't myself know each other. Myself and Josh and Tom That's and true. Freya. We didn't know each other. But we were there. Um, until about three months after Gamescom, yeah. but we we're both there. It's mm. quite strange. Very weird. Don't worry, we'll we'll have an episode where we introduce ourselves and how we met a bit more. Maybe yeah, later. like a history <laughs> episode. Mm. So Titanfall. Wow. For me, Titanfall. Um, I think. Hopefully, 
Titanfall 2 is going to be oh, good. Uh, I would think the so. The mechanics are phenomenal. The graphics, it ran mm. on the Source engine. Like, what the hell? That's yeah. That runs Counter-Strike, for yeah. God's sake. That, that runs Gary's mod. Like, I know it's a powerful engine, but it's not right for a game like that. Well, I think uh, there's Source 2 being made, mm. if not ready already for people. Yeah. And, you know, there's all this, like, talk about what Valve is doing next and whether it's a, an actual third game in a series. I love Valve. Whether it's Half Life Three or no, Left for Dead, Left for Dead Three or they ha- they Portal could. Three, they so should. I think what they should do is just one year release all those games, <laughs> and they then like, look, so like, much money. look at their bank account <laughs> and just like <laughs> cure world hunger. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I think the reason they released it on Source and the reason the game was relatively small in content wise um, is because Respawn. They were a new studio, so they came away. They were most of the people from uh, the dev studio of Infinity Ward. Oh, who yeah. did Modern Warfare Three. So they left during the development of Modern Warfare Three, mm. and that's the when you sledge- had Sledgehammer, sledgehammer uh, yeah. come in and try and finish it, which they did. But that's why I think it was Titanfall One, at least for a new IP, did really well for itself because it s- did kind of break some ground, and it's really hard I to think do that for their, a new IP. Their marketing efforts were nothing. Um, like to start with, I hadn't even no, no we hadn't heard, heard of it, it until mm. we went to Gamescom. Really, yeah. it was their marketing was based on the gameplay. Well, again, and, they and probably what people don't have were the money. saying and, yeah, and how fucking enough, different and good the gameplay was. Yeah, so don't get me wrong, the gameplay was fantastic. It was just a letdown. But how much? Like, you, how much are you going to ride? You know, all this money, or um, again, who was publishing it? Sorry, Respawn. No, who was? Um, oh, EA. EA, yeah. I mean, how much money is EA going to... They're going to ride a lot on the second game. Yeah. But on the first game, how much are you going to put behind that when you, you know, it's a new IP? Mm. It's going to be a bit tricky. Yeah, I guess um, you can't go, fuck it, let's put all this money... Oh, especially but for someone who isn't in-house. With games like Battlefront, they know that's going to be a hit. Yeah. yeah they can true. just like get their massive bank account from FIFA 15 and all those sort of games <laughs> and just throw it at that game and make something that's going to be amazing. Because it is going to be amazing. I can't <laughs> wait. Hardline. But yeah. I feel like... No, not no, not Battlefield fucking Hardline. Battlefront. Battlefront. <laughs> I keep... <laughs> Fuck Hardline. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Did that even come out? Like, it Mass is, Effect. It's Ooh. coming out. Oh, yeah, it's coming out, isn't it? Yeah, Gosh. Bioware, like, they're going to boss it. That's going to be... What are we talking about? I don't know. No, no, <laughs> Hardline. My letdown is Bioware. Titanfall. <laughs> yeah, Bioware made Half-Life. Mass Effect. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Mass Effect. What yes, I'm not sorry. About? I threw Mass Effect into there. And yeah, you all just got confused. Uh, right, okay. Times 4, my letdown. Times 4, 2, I think, would be good. But yeah, cool. Okay. I haven't actually really thought too much about well, what my letdown is. It's just fucking amazing. <laughs> hang, on. hang on, hang on. So I'm trying to think about the games I played and the games I liked and loved. And as I do this, I'm just going to be looking through a really nonchalant list of games <laughs> that came out last year, just to refresh my memory, because I know there has been a lot that came out. But, oh, actually, no, I think I think I might know. Ooh. I think I might Ooh. know. Drum roll, please. It? What is it? Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Right. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> too much. Too much. It just sounds like you're trying to hump a wall or something. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. So, my di- my diggers, my my diggest death. <laughs> my dick. You were talking about humping walls and my dick, and, and then you say my diggest. And... My biggest disappointment of the year has to be, without a doubt, the evil within. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a good true, one. Actually. Because not only did it come from the creator of Resident Evil, yeah. and not Bethesda, only... weren't they behind it? Yeah, but Shinji Mikami was the creator, the person who made the game creatively. Right. He was the creator of Resident Evil. And his last game was was Resident Evil 4. Mm. And Resident Evil 4 was my favourite horror game. Well, up until, like, some other stuff. like PT. PT. Yeah. yeah, PT was actually close to my game of the year. Really? Really, really close. Really? Even though it wasn't a game, it was so close. Because it introduced something that was so different, so fresh, so new. Yeah. So scary. So, so, so fucking scary. scary. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah exactly. there's a video of us all playing it. Go check yeah, it out. If you haven't watched it already. Yeah, it is on our YouTube channel. <laughs> YouTube.com forward slash the happy campers. Happy with an I, not a Y. It's always right. annoying how you explain that. <laughs> Don't ask yeah, me. Oh what. God. Still not um, sure. Yeah, the evil within I I had so so much riding on that game. Because I first saw it 
at E3 2013. Yeah, so I saw it at E3 2013 about um, a year and a half before the game came out. And I remember seeing the demo, which was the start of the game. Have, ever, have any of you actually played the game? Nope. Evil Within? Um, I've played a bit around yours. Yeah. It's well, okay. it's the start of the game with this specific sh- segment. God, Sean Connery's <laughs> coming back to me. Sorry. This specific segment at the start of the game, which, to be fair, when they showed it, was amazing. Because it was really scary, it was really atmospheric, and you were really in the moment. And you were like, oh, crap, this is terrible. Even though it wasn't hands-on. But we had Shinji Mikami introduce... The demo, I watched it, I was like, this is going to blow everyone away. Fast forward a year and a half after a three month delay, when it was supposed to be out in August last year, came out in October, and it wasn't that good. It was a bit dated, you know, it was just yeah. using pretty much the same graphics and engine as it Resident d- Evil 4. It didn't 4, look good, did it? And no. everything about it just seemed a bit, you know, Meh. it also seemed very stiff linear. Stiff and linear, and it had two black bars on the screen, one at the top and one at the bottom, to force it into a 16 by 9 oh, wow. aspect ratio, which was annoying as hell. Why do they do that? The only reason they did it, I think, is because it makes you try and look around more and a bit more agitated. But It wasn't actually that scary, <laughs> was it? No. No, it wasn't that scary either. I, I, You'd seen it all before. From what I'd seen in that game, I shat myself more playing The Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> and, and trust me, yeah. I fucking shot myself playing The Last of Us. You shoot yourself at any game, Joel. Yeah. Even uh, if we gave you Hannah Montana's Barbie <laughs> Doll World 5, you'd probably be scared at the look of the Barbie dolls. Well, I mean, like, when she starts fucking twerking, it's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. No, I mean, yeah, when she yeah. twerking is probably the scariest thing I've seen. <laughs> and I love horror games. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, Evil Within is just. I just love horror games. But not when it's not a horror game. <laughs> and terrible. <laughs> and when it's terrible, yeah. And to be fair, I gave it, I think, a 7.8. That's quite high. Good. Yeah, it's high. So I, I gave it a good fun, because there were parts, actually, when it was kind of good fun. It took time to get into, but there was too much happening, or not happening in my case, where I, I just wasn't as entertained or as gripped in certain moments, and everything just reminded me too much of Resident Evil 4 and being outdated and when I played it at E3 2014 and gave my impressions to the devs who were there and they were like oh so what do you think and I was like um yeah it's good it plays a lot like Resident Evil 4 and then it's like yeah but some people say it's like one of the best games ever right and I'm like yeah that's that's (laughs) not the point you (laughs) muppet yeah (laughs) it was So yeah, I just sort of like kept quiet. And I was like, uh, yeah, no, I, I think there's, there's things I was speaking talk. to the dev of Hellraid, and yeah. I thought I was giving him a massive compliment by saying it was like Skyrim. Oh, gosh, but he almost yeah. took offence to that. I'm yeah. like, no, Skyrim's a fucking amazing game. <laughs> you should take like praise upon that. Yeah. Oh, God. And, and he took it as Terrible. a bit of yeah, a... It, it, it was like, it. yeah, but it's different in this and that and this way. And it's like, oh, sorry, sorry. It's inevitable for people to have comparisons to other games with certain titles. It's like... Lords of the Fallen mm. being a Dark Souls clone. Yeah. yeah. It's inevitable. It's the way the world works. And here's Josh's life lesson. And it's like Advanced Warfare being a Titanfall clone. That's it. That is it. Yeah, yeah uh, Advanced actually. Warfare is very much a mixture of that. Even if the games, even if both games are sort of being made around the same time, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's tricky. Mm. It's kind of that mixture, isn't it? They're not going to introduce Titans into Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. They, you yeah, know. you never they know. Probably you never know with them. Yeah. Might be Advanced Warfare 2 when they do I that. really want Call of Duty to go back to World War 2 or World War 1. I. I don't care. Please. Yeah. Please. Remaster Black Ops. I'd be no. very happy. Black Ops is no. brilliant. Remaster World of War. Don't remaster any Call of Duty no. games. No. <laughs> it doesn't need remastering, let's be fair. Yeah, it was a rumour, though, that... Remaster Sam... COD 4, if you're going to do any. <laughs> oh, COD yes. 4. Modern Warfare. Actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Joel is drowning in his own saliva. God for you. So make that man. Wow. So we've done the past, uh, the present, and now the future. Touched on the future. Are we going to touch it more? We haven't really done the present, to be fair. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll just pretend. <laughs> That's what I'm going to name the episode. We've decided past, present, and future. Ooh. Just because it sounds good. So, uh, Philosophical. We're, doing at the moment. we're podcasting at the moment, so we talked about that. Um, so, yeah, the future. Now, 
what games are we looking forward to in 2015? Um, what what's getting our rocks rolling? I what's think getting our armpits sweating? We should summarize what this is... in 60 seconds. In, what? Everything about this game that you're hyped for in 60 seconds, just to keep it. Okay, well, um, Freya, you start first. Say what game you're excited for. Evolve. Very excited. For Evolve. <laughs> that was so anti Evolve. 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 There we go. Evolve. It's out that's February. it. That's it. Evolve. That's yeah. It. That's it's made that's by Tur- 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 Turtle out. Rock Studios. <laughs> it's out in a month. That's yeah, it. that's. Uh, I'm quite surprised I how quickly that's come around. At Gamescom 2011. <laughs> no, 12, 11, yeah, 13, <laughs> 14. <laughs> you see, I played Evolve when it first got announced, and that was the beginning of 2014. I played it in February okay. 2014. Where? So, uh, um, in London. Ooh. In a bar mm. with a few other journalists. Cool. And it was it was quite sketchy at the time because they well literally sketchy because the cutscenes were still had like the placeholders like with sketches oh, wow. and art direction and stuff in there. Oh, really? Funny. But yeah, and I can see why Evolve is is your most anticipated game this year. But yet we've yet we've yet to hear from you why. But how much <laughs> Left for Dead? <laughs> so how am I not going to hear? How from much you? Left for Dead did you actually play? How much Left for Dead? Because it's essentially Left for Dead. Yeah, well, we played That's it on. Sexy. Um, God, PC. I, I, I've I never played Left 4 Dead on console. We're being blockers. <laughs> <laughs> we're blocking from <laughs> you. Like, yeah. mm. We're pissing her off. <laughs> we, we have to let Freya talk. Like, come on, Freya. Freya, just talk. Do your thing. Well, yeah, we played it all at, well, we Don't played worry it about at both Eurogamer and Jordan Gamescom. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing it again. <laughs> we played it at Eurogamer and Gamescom. And I just love the variety of characters and that everybody that's playing, you have to rely upon them. Like, you have to rely upon the medic, you have to rely on the trapper, you have to rely on everybody. Everybody has a key part to play. Basically, just hope that Freya isn't a medic, because <laughs> you're not going to get on. I was a brilliant trapper, let's be medic. fair. Tra- well, we lost brilliant. the round. So. I was a crap Oh, we trapper. didn't. We won both rounds, because we got wristbands, so... <laughs> but yeah, it, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I like... Yeah, it's, it's, it's just kind of more free. Like, you're not all doing the same thing and you haven't all got the same, like, position. It's just really... And, and the world, it looks really, really good. I was really impressed with, like... Because mm. it's sort of really dark and dingy, but really, like... But it still looks amazing. Graphically, it's quite Even, vibrant. Yeah, 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 that's the thing. Even though the colours aren't, it's really... Uh, I think it's, it's got, a, like, a Jurassic great. Park feel to Yeah, it, actually, like... that's really true. Maybe we're going to tie that Not in the with colours. a Jurassic Park movie. You never know. <laughs> right, we're talking about games, not films. <laughs> they can mix up. Sorry, yeah. Fran. No, that's kind of that's kind of it. I mean, I've only played it twice. We we were going to play it for a third time, I think, at Gamescom, but the queue was like phenomenally long, so we didn't get time to. But yeah, really excited for that. Oh, we played the actually the beta was a little bit alpha, of a le- oh, oh, alpha I sorry I into that well, yeah well, I, I didn't so ever get codes. into a game I swear I sent you a code you did but I didn't have the time well oh. you couldn't get into a game anyway so yeah I didn't yeah. I, said <laughs> really? for hours I didn't, I didn't play any, I, any game no I didn't get into I didn't game. get into one game I had four codes for it and didn't get so you didn't actually play the beta no alpha sorry no Be- alpha yeah technically I played the menus yeah pretty oh. much we, we all joined <laughs> together and then all of us got booted, yeah. and then we decided oh, to search on our own. Didn't work. And yeah, but it's an alpha. Yeah, I mean, yeah. some people obviously played it, so good for them. So evolve. Good luck to you, um, and good luck to the guys at Two K who I know and, uh, who are Turtle in marketing Rock. for that, and Turtle Rock as well. Good luck to Turtle Rock. I'm sure I it's going to be good. Actually, Left 4 Dead, the little bit that I've played. Um, so yeah, I look forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good. Joel. Um, to. What's your most anticipated game? No, no, don't tell me. Is it Treyarch's Go at Call of Duty? This or year? is it FIFA 16? FIFA 16. Yes. Ooh, yes. <laughs> FIFA 16. Uh, it's Rayman 3.5. <laughs> or is it? Or is it uh, Last of Us remastered, remastered? <laughs> Last of Us remastered, remastered, remastered. <laughs> um, no, it's of course Battlefront. I don't know why oh, it's not at the top of anyone's freaking <laughs> list. Yeah, it probably won't come out. But um, I was It'll reading probably up delayed on it. to 2016. I was reading Although, up. Sorry. You go. No, I was just going to say the movie's out this year, so they kind of have to hit that mark. Yeah, yeah, I was reading up on um reading up on it last night about the release dates, and uh, EA basically have like a roadmap. They want a massive shooter to come out every year. Yeah, no crap. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, they're EA. Yeah, money so awesome. they want the next Battlefield, maybe Battlefield Five, like the bit proper big Battlefield yeah. to come out in 2016. Yeah. Um. So Battlefront 
is EA and DICE's go at 2015. Mm. And I think it's been in the build for so long now. Um, it's been... Well, we saw that stuff at Gamescom when it... No, sorry. In the E3 EA presentation when they showed that tiny amount of footage they had mm. in Alpha. 2013, yeah. Uh, no, this year. I mean, last year. They Fine. showed some E3 2013. They showed some E3 2014. And and in the short amount of footage that you saw in 2014... I, remember, they I know what you're going to say. See, see more, more next, of next oh, yeah. spring 2015 or fall 2015 or whatever. Which is a, it's annoying. But I think after playing Battlefield 4 and knowing just how good like, the Frostbite engine yeah, is... Brilliant. Um, just because they be said see more, it doesn't mean that it's not going to get released this year. It's no. It's like Call of Duty... And the next Call of Duty is going to be announced in May. Yeah. Pretty much yeah. confirmed. Yeah. And then it's going to release this year. Well, wasn't Halo November. the Master Chief Collection confirmed um, E3 2014 for release in November yes. 2014? Yeah, it was. So everyone was like, no, <laughs> And I'm like, oh, I'm not much of a Halo guy, but I've got it and I do have enjoyed some of it. Yeah. yeah. When you get to play. Well, I played the campaign, so but yeah, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> there, no words can describe how good that game's going to be. Like, Star Wars. Who doesn't love Star Wars? Who didn't play the Star yeah. Wars Battlefront games on PlayStation 2? Yeah. Did you play them? Um, no. <laughs> Fuck you. Few games. No, I didn't have a PlayStation 2. No, I didn't two, neither. neither. So I, I had a GameCube. Um, and I, yeah, I kind of played on Friends PlayStation 2s, oh, and yeah, I played I a little see. bit of Battlefield, and it was third person, but now it's going first person, and everything's going to be really interesting. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Joel is all that right now. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. Friends. Fro, is it this really what you is. talk to Joel? We probably should have said, Fro and Joel are boyfriend and girlfriend. Yes, if you Is this what you do to entice Joel in bed? <laughs> yeah. You're sort of like, hey, Joel, do you want to have sex? No, nah, I'm all right. Battlefront. Um, Battlefront. <laughs> lightsaber. Turn on your lightsaber. Okay. <laughs> please, please. I need your lightsaber. <laughs> Come to the dark oh, side, God. Joel. Come oh, to the dark God. side. Oh, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> do, you want, oh, do, God. do you want some Darth Maul tonight? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. I I'll, wish. I'll dress up in my Stormtrooper outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, put those cinnamon buns on your ears. You'll look like Leia. Leia. And let me nibble your ears off with I'm this. like Chewy downstairs tonight. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> wow. That, uh, oh, my God. It's, it's it turned into uh, Star Wars fan fiction. <laughs> Apparently. So. <laughs> Star Wars hentai. So we've got Evolve and Battlefront. Oh, it's going to be amazing. I nearly said Battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck Battlefield Hardline. <laughs> it does look quite good. No! Okay. H- has it been released? For a campaign, it looks cool. It looks cool. Has ha- has Hardline been released yet? No. no. Okay, cool. Because uh, I It was I due out 2014. It. Yeah, it was yeah. due out October, but then they were like, there's so many games for, here. <laughs> and also, we need <laughs> yeah, some more time in this. this game. For some reason, they basically put DLC. some new guns and maps in the It should just be DLC. That's and all they've done. Yeah. That, all it should be buy the DLC if you want it. Ah, uh, the campaign looks awesome. Yeah, it's great, fantastic. Oh, I'm a really? campaign guy. Yeah, but if you play the Battlefield I'm 4 campaign, campaign you'd realise how terrible Battlefield campaigns yeah. are. Um, well, I've yeah, I've played half of it. Mm. Yeah, but this <laughs> this one looks good... looks set to open up a little bit and introduce a little bit more variety in how you do things because mm. it's yeah, sort of like of... undercover stuff and you can Cops do stealth and missions and other stuff like that so that I, looks I'm going to get cool. it because I, I really enjoy the Battlefield series yeah I'll try and get in contact with EA and make some love with them and be like uh, oh we covered uh, Dragon Age for you in a review do you want to uh, do you want to give me Battle f- Battlefield we're calling you I mean, out Battlefield. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, do you yeah. want to give me both you please? need to <laughs> some like FIFA 15 free coins or something just mm. <laughs> come on oh right is that, is that where it's at that's a little bit late yeah. I'm not really a fifth Feather guy. I am. <laughs> More of a Pez guy. I can tell. <laughs> Love <Fever. laughs> And I bet you can all tell what my most anticipated game of the year is this year. Oh, I can, yeah. Joel's looking for Oh, it's... Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's Crap Man. <laughs> Batman. Crap yes. Shat Man. Arkham Knights. I think it's going to be game of the year this year. Mm. No doubt about it. Come the end of the year, you'll be seeing so many game of the years for it, you'll be like, Josh, you're right. Whilst I choke you with my Batman arc, I'm like, Batman be all replica. <laughs> Covered in s- s- c- semen. C- semen. S- Lots s- of semen. Salmon. <laughs> well. Why? why? Honestly, it's going to be... Oh my God, there's so many reasons why. Well, I've played it. One of the few people in the world to have played yeah, it. Yeah, they've only really showed, the showed clips mainly, haven't they? 
they have um, gameplay obviously near the end of this year they they released uh, gameplay in three parts and that was basically the demo I played fair um, so yeah, I was a bit surprised they hadn't released it sooner but to be fair the game was due to be released in October 2014 and then they were given a God. eight month um, bump up year of the delays which is great everything's but been delayed yeah I think it's good. It's I love thing, delays. Yeah. And with ba- ba- with Batman Arkham Knight, <laughs> with Batman Arkham Knight, there's so many reasons why it's going to be awesome. They're introducing a fully roamable major chunk of Gotham City. The Batmobile. They're introducing the Batmobile. You yeah, can drive you, around you in the Batmobile. Drive the Batmobile. You can do stealth. You can go in like action and, and all that stuff. And there's going to be so many different characters to play as Harley Quinn and different story stuff and it's going to be like the explosive finale why are you all yawning this is <laughs> it's going to be, be so good because you're talking about Batman it's going to be yeah. so good I'm oh my god uh. the people of Warner Brothers know how much I love this game and I just, I am I'm already looking forward to the press junket that I hope I get invited to <laughs> <laughs> yes oh my god it's going to be so good I'm just no, right. I'm going like, right. to never, explode I've never played a Batman game so I feel like oh, I should you're missing out yeah I they're should. highly rated critically yeah. acclaimed yeah they I are. might get one Joel, well, well I, see, I might get this so you're reaching for that Jaffa it's going to be very oh, oh no. wow well. so yeah <laughs> Batman Arkham Knight is just raising everything the next level and it's not coming out on last gen it's coming out on current gen only. That's good. So it's like utilizing the full power of that console. It's gonna the music's gonna be amazing. And when I met this team five years ago, on the eve of Arkham Asylum, the first game, Rocksteady, this is. So Rocksteady Studios did Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. They didn't do Arkham Origins, but their last. I played Arkham Asylum. That's mm, great. Their third and final game now in the Batman universe is Arkham Knight. And it, it's just so weird because when I met them all those years ago, they're such a humble bunch. And interviewing them or they're, interviewing they're some British, of them at E3, is that right? yeah, yeah, they're located in Warner Brothers, yeah. Or Warner Brothers are British as well, is that right? No, they're game what? studios. <laughs> what? What have I just heard from you now? Warner Brothers are British. <laughs> Warner Brothers are British. Yeah. <laughs> well done. I think no, they should they're be game called studio. the. Um. When I was at Gamescom no. in the. No, they have, they have. They have all British. They have game studios all over the place, mate. Mm. Mm. Where, I mean, Rockst- <laughs> Rockstar Studios isn't even a Warner Brothers studio. It's in- independent. Oh right. I think. Have you seen much about No Man's Sky? Um, a little bit. And I, we saw the guy actually in a bar, and we talked to him because he was up on stage doing his stuff, and we we're like, "Oh, mate, you, you work just down the road from where I live." <laughs> where, where, where are they based? Slough. Gil- Slough. They actually. Oh, oh mate, Gilf- I'm gonna go. Oh, actually, uh, no, it's Guildford. Is it it's Guildford? Gil- it's not Slough. It can't Slough. be. Why would anybody base no Slough? No fucking games come out of Slough. Okay, no, it's Guildford. <laughs> so yeah, but oh my god, Batman Arkham Knight. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait. I'm so lucky to play it, and it, w- it was awesome. Even though I was trying to show off, and I utterly failed. <laughs> um, what you're trying to be like? Well, I know yeah, that Batman I know, I know. has a iron to the power of seven times mm, four strength for armor and no rah. not really <laughs> not I was just like I know how to play this game but they did change up a bit and the fact they added the Batmobile made it a little bit different and he died a lot um once or twice <laughs> yeah <What? laughs> Tom Randy, was behind me going Randy BK <laughs> <laughs> whilst I was with one of the devs like playing through it so he was showing me where to go and what to do so that game so we've got Evolve we've got Battlefront <laughs> Star Wars Battlefront and we've got Batman are you are you yeah. looking forward to Battlefront? I know you're just having a jumpy kick into your mouth. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm looking forward to it in the sense that this could be quite an experience, and hopefully they're going to produce an awesome game. Yeah. Um, and even though I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, what? <laughs> I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. What? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> um, not as big as I am a Batman fan. That's really. Hmm. Oh, come on, I've been a Batman fan since I was born. No. Yeah. Star Wars <laughs> fan since Give I was This take. is huge to me. Yeah, I guess. That's why I'm... Each to their own. Come June the 2nd, I will have actually exploded. <laughs> no, no crap. I will be... be there will be no Josh Yeah, Lott. no Josh on the podcast anymore. I will anymore. be in a puddle. <laughs> it will be doors locked. There'll be an entire Batman-themed podcast coming out. Oh, God. Just you, I take it. Mm. And Batman! <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus! I think, loud. I think your mic is a bit... I think your headphones, sorry, are a bit loud. Yeah. Does that um, help you only, out? 
Now I can't hear you. Okay. What about? <laughs> oh, it's not talking. What about now? Is that better? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. How about now? Oh, Josh, you mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <gasps> is that better? I think we've covered most things now, haven't we? Yeah. See, so, yeah, we've, we've we, covered. We don't want to talk about biggest, everything. We won't have enough <laughs> anything for episode two. <laughs> <laughs> our biggest disappointment of 2014. Our biggest. No, our game of the our year. Game of the year, 2014. Our most anticipated. And then our most anticipated game of 2015. Yeah. We've gone through. Yeah. So it's going to be really interesting when we make game of the year 2015 yeah, podcast. Yeah, look back. And I wonder if our game game of the years match yeah, up with our, I wonder if it our does. most anticipated. What do you think our most anticipated would be also our game of the year? I'd, yeah, mm, no, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it has to be I, if it's I, your most I, I anticipated. Hope. Well, like I think. hope it will be. As long as it's but... not a letdown. But then again, before we close out the podcast, I think it might be good also to go through each of us and or we'll go around the circle, as it were, <laughs> and talk about what we would like to get announced this year. Ooh, Unannounced cool. games. Ooh. Right, we're not going to st- start this now. Why? Episode two. It's good, good grounding for episode two, Josh. Oh, come on, Joel. Yeah, you, know, you just. But this is the past, present, and future podcast. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. This come is where on. we talk about it. I'm sure next week we'll have some awesome All topic right. about donuts. Come on, then. Krispy Kreme. GTA flavors. San Andreas. Um, San San Andreas remake. Definitely, hands down. If that came out, I would be in a, in a puddle. So the these floor. are also predictions. Exploded. Freya's prediction. I've, is I that hope. a is Grand that... Theft Auto San Andreas remake? I would absolutely rehash. love that. That's... But with all the cheats, all beast. the modding. Mod for mod, exactly. everything the same, but the graphics better. But it looks amazing, yeah, because it does look like crap. I went back and played it, and had so much fun. Are you sure you wouldn't so want fun? some gameplay enhancements from like GTA V being introduced, like first person mode? Yeah. Oh god, or, that'd, that'd be would... cool. I swear. Like, right. Driving. Does anybody like remember that being a first person mode? Anyway, no, in was, Grand Theft Auto, there was never ever a first person. There was mode. never a first person. No. Mode. I can't remember what. There was a top down Skyview Chinatown. mode. Chinatown Wars from yeah. the original GTA. Oh god. GTA oh, and, one and two yeah. on PS1. I swear to God there was in like Vice City or something. No. Like, when I played it on PSP. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, that hands down I would be so happy. I might be you might be thinking about when you're looking through the scope of a sniper rifle. <laughs> Probably not. But... That's first person to me. <laughs> <laughs> or binos. <laughs> yeah, or binoculars, maybe yeah. you think about that then. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so a GTA San Andreas remake from Freya. Joel, what's your what game would you love to see uh, unveiled, announced this year? I never thought I'd aside say this. from the next Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed. But it's gonna be a Call of Duty. There is gonna be a Call of Duty, Ooh. there's and gonna be Assassin's Creed, which has already kind of been. Well revealed. we know it's gonna Victoria be London. London, London, London. Victoria, Victoria, London. London. actually pretty cool. Oh, but it's, it's really fucking good. Ubisoft, so yeah, yeah so it's gonna up. kinda scrap. Oh, what I want <laughs> to see is a Call of Duty game set in World War One or World War Two. Because I'd love Anna to see like a Call of Duty. Are we 3... talking realistic? <laughs> yes, realistic. Realistic predictions. Real... Oh, <laughs> no, not <laughs> realistic game. Potentially, re... I've seen a lot of articles and a lot of well, what not the... rumors, but like hype, basically saying where should the next Call of the Duty go? The past three games have been modern, like yeah, but modern this year it's Treyarch. This year yeah. it's Treyarch. So the people, call... well, they made it would be Black Ops. They yeah. made Black Ops, and that was brilliant. Maybe Black was, Ops uh... Three. Oh, potentially Black Ops 3 Black but Ops, back Black Ops back in the day Fuck Black, and, Black, Black Ops, Ops 2 was just the biggest let down but this is had. this is a studio who did Black Ops so yeah. Black Ops 1 and 2 so they, now we have to think are they going to do a third or well, are they going to do something totally different they shouldn't do it in Black Ops 1 yeah. was um, Aliens the, set in space oh, what, Vietnam Vietnam no. War I think yeah yeah Vietnam um, but Vietnam. I'd love to see like a Treyarch Call of Duty 5 World at War style where you're battling in the, in the Pacific yeah. you're battling in Nazi Germany oh, got brilliant. Nazi zombies how about introduce time Next travelling gen. why not and you jump around yeah, all different choose times. where you want to go no oh. that, do- that do- really doesn't <laughs> fit my boat I want to battle guns in the uh, 1700s uh. because yeah then you'll be like with some bloody nuclear launcher in like the yeah. 1700s it'd be great fantastic no. Just slaughter thousands we of don't need any more sort Playing of future, the order. <laughs> future wars oh, God, we don't need any more of those <laughs> You know, actually, but no, I'll get what my what I'd like to get announced this year, and then I'd go on to this one final bit, which I think would be quite good. <laughs> final, <laughs> the final, final. Take it with a, a, a freaking what? bucket of salt. I think there are two things that I'd like to be announced this year. One, which I think is um, could be quite a potential um, reveal for E3, is a next SSX game. I'd like that. Yeah. And 
Do you know what an SSX game is, Freya? No, I've no idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not yeah, just play, nodding yeah. like... Did you play SSX Tricky? Uh, yeah, that was Never it. amazing. It. It's a snowboarding uh, ski oh. game. Oh, 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 no, no. I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the I've tricky it, ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're awesome. I never and knew. I think called. on next oh, gen. Oh, the um, awesome. I mean current gen. It's but. free on Xbox 360 at the moment. Really? Nice. What the, games are gold? Yeah, the SSX. Nice. Uh, pretty cool. But don't have a 360 though, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that. And there's one which I'm always going to hold out for, just like everyone else, every single year, and hopefully we're getting closer to it. Half Life Three. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did you play the original Half Life then? Um, I got into it with the orange box and got addicted oh, yeah. to it, yeah. and then it stopped. And I was like, I want more. So now I'm on the. I think they're gonna. They have to be making it, and They've I think it's gonna be, be amazing. Something in those, they are, with they all are. their money and the yeah. fucking. Yeah, of course, ugh. of course they are. They are. It's, it's just we know what Valve are like. They create amazing games, and they haven't really created the crap one. Yeah, in my mind. That's yeah, fair. like even like Team Fortress and silly Team little Fortress games like that. They're really good. Really good. Exactly. So Great. I think. Whether it's Portal 3 or Left 4 oh, Dead 3 or Half-Life 3, one of the third games Out in the series. Out of what they do, I know everybody will want to see Half-Life 3 the most, yeah. but yeah. I've, I've never actually got into Half-Life or even properly played it. Yeah. Um, they're long, are they long games? Um, yeah, fairly. I mean, pro- you're pro- I mean, it's tricky. For um, Half-Life 2 and then there was Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Half-Life 2 Episode 2. <laughs> um you're looking at a fair amount of game time. I think 10 hours plus. Okay. Yeah. Depending. That's correct. Right. I mean, depending on how you play it, because it's sort of, you know, you play it your own way. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's nice. And so what I'm going to finish this podcast with, and thank you for those who are still sticking with us. It's a, it's <laughs> how, a good, how long have we been going? It's a good Hour episode. About, well, you know, bar the crap at the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we'll be a good <laughs> Joel, 55 so. minutes so far. Yeah. So to round this out to a good padded hour, I think it would be quite fun to predict what our biggest disappointment of 2015 Ooh. will be. Yes. Okay. I'm going to start this off by being the girl and apparently starting. <laughs> um, yep, I've <coughs> changed gender during this podcast. Um, I'm going to start it off. We live bloody 30 minutes from London on the train. Assassin's Creed Unity It's going to be in fucking London and it's going to be bad. So the next Assassin's Creed game is going to be your biggest disappointment. Like Unity was... Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, like, but you said that Unity and... wasn't your biggest disappointment. It wasn't my biggest disappointment, but it was a disappointment. What was your biggest disappointment? Titanfall. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, th- <laughs> I think the next Assassin's Creed... All that time ago. Because they churn them out and it's Ubisoft and it's going to be London, so mm. us us Reddingers and us Londoners are going to be like, oh, oh my God, it it's going to be so good we can drink tea in Assassin's Creed. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be bad. Okay. So the next Assassin's Creed game, you're thinking is going to be absolute turd balls. Not turd oh, balls, but you know but what? I'm down. still thinking. I'm still forgetting, sorry, all the games that should be coming out this year that would nearly make my game of the year for this year if they're good. But I don't know yet, and that's uh, Rainbow Six Siege. But oh, it's good. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that looks great. You so, got to get on PC, man. That is the P- that's oh, a PC God. game. It's a PC yeah. game. Forget yeah. PC. Boch. No. Oh Freya. man, Freya, what's your prediction for this year which will be your <laughs> biggest disappointment well i've always loved like tom clancy games i've always played them tom so, clancy well, from it's what like we if saw a japanese person or chinese person is saying tom clancy <laughs> tom clancy <laughs> i'm oh, saying i'm I being think racist now it's terrible it's quite bad boy it's quite i kind of i find it quite, i have trouble with my words currently <laughs> it's going a while <laughs> I find it quite. I've also interrupted my girlfriend for the second time. <laughs> I find it quite interesting that they still use Tom Clancy name. Cause obviously, he yeah, died. Yeah, he died. Yeah. I wonder how long they can sort of use. From that what for. we saw at Gamescom, I I thought it was going to because because I played them with my dad. I love playing them. Um, and I wasn't that amazed at what they'd done for what what siege for division um division. Oh, oh, oh God, we're talking about the, the division. division yeah, we? oh, no. exactly. It's yeah. UB. It's UB. That's the problem. And I when I saw like it, Ubisoft. I was like, "This could look really good because it looked like it." I love Ubisoft. <laughs> it did look really good. Fuck Ubisoft. And then when we saw the playthrough of it, it was like that tablet thing that you look down on. It's like, yeah, what what what, oh, what, no, what no. are you trying to do with that? So the division is your. Potentially, most. I, I think that's because, a good because shout, it's actually. such it's such a good it was such a good like past the games have been so good so no but it, this is a completely different style that's, to Rainbow Six yeah that's 
This is. I mean, it's not. It's not really a Rainbow I love Six. No. Rainbow Six. It's a new IP. That's that's yeah. the thing, and I don't think it's going to catch on. That's the problem. But it's not. It's not Rainbow Six. It's at not all. Rainbow Six. It's Tom Clancy's yeah, yeah, The Division. Yeah, yeah, Tom Clancy's The Division. Yeah. But that's the an, thing. It's so, a new IP, basically. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think it's going to catch on. I think that's it will. That's all I'm okay, so Do you think? I think it will, but it'll be a letdown. I, I agree with you that it'll probably be a letdown. Yeah. Well, she was okay. say. There we go. <laughs> um, I would like to say that my biggest disappointment of this year is going to be The Order, but we already oh, know yeah. that's going to be a biggest disappointment. <laughs> you guys... Well, actually, no, it's not even going to be a disappointment because we know we're going to get disappointed, so therefore I won't be yeah. disappointed when I play it. <laughs> well, you might be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> pleasant is my pleasantly surprised Didn't moment. did somebody there. get uh, stuck in something when we played it? Or yeah, Sam we played got it stuck. at Gamescom oh, and Sam saying. got stuck inside Yeah, some you guys were so excited to play it and I saw it yeah. and I was just like, what is when this? When I played it, it was really, really fun. Oh, no. And seeing the gameplay again at E3 2014, Very it, average. it restored you probably didn't watch it it restored my faith in that that is going to be good and i still think it's going to be good it's just going to be well, too order. scary for me the order the order <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna it looks amazing graphics graphics of the year probably that game mm. but the gameplay yeah. there is nothing i even spoke to one of the developers who left to become an indie developer and I yeah I spoke to him in depth about it and it was like it's it's not you know it's not a good thing if the best thing you can say about your game is that it looks great. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hmm. <laughs> it's <Okay>. true. <laughs> so yeah, I, it has thinking, potential. Think about mm. what my biggest disappointment could be. Oh god, this is tricky. Oh, I even forgot there's Hotline Miami two. Ooh, amazing. <laughs> uh, have you ever played Hotline Miami games? Uh, a bit. Mm. Not You're really. Missing out. Not properly. So my biggest disappointment. Um, this is gonna be tricky. This is where Josh pulls out his phone and looks at the calendar for no, 2015. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. He's doing it on his laptop instead. I Just a quick have interjection. Um, yeah. Have both of you played Halo Five Beta? I'm yeah. No. Assuming you, okay. Yes. I'm disappointed at how coddy it feels. Coddy. It just feels like. Well, Halo Four was coddy. like the most coddy Halo. It, yeah, and it just feels like they've just, just carried on with that. Of course. I've ha- I don't like the scoping. It thing. feels more like Halo than Halo Four did. Yes. I I actually quite enjoy. I, I was surprised. I enjoyed playing it. Yeah. It's it's okay. But it's not like oh my god I'm so excited. I'd rather for this. It go back to Halo Two style than Halo. Mm. Yeah, I was playing that on Master Chief Collection, I've realised. Because I started at Halo... Like, the first Halo I played was Halo 4. And I had fun. And then I went backwards. And I had even more fun. Mm. Like, I went to Halo 3, then I went to Halo 2. There's too many of these fast-paced, modern, futuristic shooters like Call of Duty and Titanfall. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about all these other games that I could have listed for my potential game of the year. Oh, dear. Uncharted 4. Oh, yeah. Oh, we forgot that one. (laughs) Holy (laughs) shit, (laughs) Uncharted 4. All you got to do is watch the gameplay and you want to start touching yourself. Oh, my God. That is going to be a PS4 seller. Yeah, uh, that's fair. And, and like, the next Tomb Raider is potentially out this year. Mm. And, mm. and all these other games that I'm currently not remembering. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my biggest disappointment of this year, potentially... Next year. Next. Could, oh, no, th- this, no, this year. Oh, this year. <laughs> could be... Oh, this is tricky. Oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> Gee. I just... It's so hard to think about... There are so many good games out this year. I can't really pin down one that I've been following and being like, yeah... This is going to be great, and then it isn't. Uh, so, I think I'm just going to say the order. Yeah. The order is probably going to be the biggest disappointment this year. Yeah, I, I think order that's 1886. Potential. So I'm sorry, Sony, but I think you've got to, you know, do better and get your studios to provide gameplay in the next game that they do. Fair enough. Potentially. Mm. But um, but I, I, I going back to Uncharted Four. Mm, a footnote on Uncharted 4. I think we should end on a high. Yeah. This is 2015 after all. Yeah, of course. I sat and watched it on my telly, the gameplay, and In I could have sat 1080p. there for... Yeah, I could have sat there for five hours watching That's gameplay great. of that. Oh my goodness. I, I don't even have to play it, I can just watch it. <laughs> I will play it, <laughs> of <laughs> yeah. course, but I could just watch it. It's that good. Like, Naughty Dog know what they're doing. When you know what else people are going to possibly see this year Red Dead Redemption 2 oh really oh my I think that's going to be announced this year 
Do you reckon? think? Yeah. I would be so happy. So there's so, so much happy. talk about what's going to happen this year. Guys. I loved that game. Yeah. No, that there's potential for Rocksteady going to announce what they're doing next this year. They're going to announce it. So it'll probably hopefully be out oh, this year or next year. Rockstar. That would be amazing. Uh, Rockstar. Not Rockstar. <laughs> I always do yeah. that. <laughs> I always do that. I always do that. Even people when I was in quizzes with people from that team, they were like, and it's Rockstar. It's Rocksteady. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. So now I'm that calling. That would be amazing. Rock, yeah, so Rockstar. What Rockstar are doing next? I think it's going to be Red Dead 2. I'd be very happy. So yeah, with Joel that. is uh, getting agitated looking at his watch. <laughs> So yeah, that you've reached the end of episode one. Uh, it's 2015. 2015 of the new Start Replay podcast series, and you'll probably see, be seeing my lovely mug on the image, um, on the yeah, thumbnail just, for this. Just like, just get rid of it. It's, Don't worry, it's, it's pretty it's horrifying. It's a dark image. It's lovely. Yeah, well, black out his face a lot. So. <laughs> That's what I look like when I talk. Black. <laughs> <laughs> dark. dark. I look dark. I look um, dark. It's just the shadowing of the room. It is shadowing of the room and also Photoshop. Yeah. Not Photoshop. Uh, anyway. Photo. <laughs> so, yeah, I, thank you very much for listening. Anyone who is listening, um, you know, God save your soul. Hopefully, we love you. Hopefully, yeah. you'll stick with us. Subscribe you, to us on YouTube. Yeah. www.startreplay.com. Uh, Check it out. Talking far too fast and not oh, being. <laughs> Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, follow us. So you can us follow us on everything. Twitter at Start Replay. Of course, you can visit us on Facebook at facebook.com so forward sh- slash Start Replay Media because Ooh. Start Replay was already taken. Bastards. Yeah. And then why not subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash The Happy Campers? And that's T H E. H A P P I campers. Yeah. Um, not H A P P Y. Um yeah. yeah. So there's a, as we've talked about in this podcast, mm-hmm. there's a ton of games coming there out are this year. A lot year. of games coming out in twenty fifteen. And a ton of games means a, a ton potential. of content from us, hopefully. Exactly. We'd like to think. Which it's, yeah. it's gonna be our <laughs> we're determined be our best to year. make it our most packed year for I'd most like productive to think so. year. I think it's gonna be the most productive year. There's no reason why we can't we'll do a podcast every week yeah that would be pretty cool yeah 52 podcasts there are 52 weeks in the year is that right yes nailed it so a podcast a week do you think we can do it guys i would love to yeah Yeah. that'd be great okay cool Cool. it's our challenge (laughs) um so what's it the the fifth today yes the fifth it is so we've we've actually recorded one within the first week of the year who is that that was strange. Anyway. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. So, yeah. Um, so, thank you very much, Joel, for coming by. Thank you, um, everybody listening. Don't forget to subscribe. That's the main thing you've got to do. <laughs> Fucking subscribe! Oh, okay, don't, Jesus Christ. Don't get too, you know, intimidated by him. He is quite small in real life. <laughs> and he is quite young as well, so he could be easily beaten up. Freya, <laughs> thank you very much for thank you very coming much to the first me. podcast of the new series. It's, it's always nice having a girl in the room. It's been lovely. To talk. Uh, First stuff. time ever for Josh, he's sweating a lot. I am. No, I generally sweat. <laughs> um... <laughs> Not just because there's a girl. (laughs) Not just because there's a girl, exactly. (laughs) And hopefully in future episodes we'll be talking some saucy stuff as well. Still thinking of content to put in. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to kinky things up a bit. Maybe. You never know. You know, alternate gaming podcast, not just gaming, whole mixture of stuff, really. Our lives. Just normal stories of what goes on. (laughs) That's what people like. You've been listening to myself, Josh Boll, editor-in-chief and founder at StartReplay.com. And make sure you tune in in the next few weeks through iTunes and any other medium. This is coming out on a YouTube. on YouTube. And uh, what was the other one? SoundCloud, maybe. SoundCloud, we yeah, we'll do SoundCloud. And thank you very much for listening. I'm going to leave you with a small clip of us eating popping candy. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. I swear to God, mine doesn't have any in it. Mine does. Hmm. That was fun. Hmm. Probably not the best thing to buy. <laughs>